Hello everyone and welcome back to the Janziska campaign. Today we're doing scenario two, Courage and Coin. Just as all hope fades, an angel swoops in to deliver the desperate from the abyss. Such is the way of things. Jan Sokol, my patron and benefactor, is now also my savior. The generous man who backed my expeditions exhorted King Wenceslaus now restored to the throne, to demand that I be spared from a horrific death. After securing my release, Sokol bestowed yet another honor upon me and made me an officer in his army of swords. Now I march at the head of that force. But for now, our sights are not set on Bohemia. To the northeast, a savage conflict has erupted between two age-old enemies. The Teutonic Order, a fanatical brotherhood of Crusader Knights, wages war upon the growing Kingdom of Poland. King Władysław Jagiełło of Poland, still known as Jogaila by his Lithuanian relatives, has taken the initiative and struck deep into Teutonic territory. Knowing that his Polish and Lithuanian army is not enough to achieve his ambitions, he has enlisted our famed company of Bohemian mercenaries. We are among the best swords in Europe, but the Teutonic Knights and their Crusader allies are a formidable match. On the plains near Grunwald, courage will yield coin, or else a glorious death. Okay, so this scenario is a bit of a cutscene at the beginning. We kind of want to play instead of watching the cutscene all the way to the end, like I did. Uh, so we're just we're just gonna start. It's basically this is the uh, the sixth scenario from the end of the Polish campaign, but we're playing as the Bohemians, who were one of the mercenary groups whom we could have hired. Uh, and of course, our friend from our other two campaigns must survive. We need to defeat the Teutonic Order and kill their three commanders, one of whom we know how to kill, Ulrich von Jungingen, and then also Friedrich von Fallenrod and Kuno von Liechtenstein. Uh, we're in Imp and can have a pop of 150. And if you see the resources, we have a deathmatch start. <laughs> we can't build castles, but uh, we need to support our allies. And remember, our spearmen do more damage against cavalry, which is quite nice. Right. Ano. We will secure your center against ano. Teutonic attacks, your highness. Stavim. Kiska, prepare the troops, for it shall Stavim. be on this bright day that the bold men of Bohemia prove their worth. Our Grandmaster Ulrich ano. sends you these two swords, so that you might find your courage, and not delay the clash any longer. If you lack space to deploy your ranks, we shall be glad to see you some. We accept your swords and hand as an omen of victory. For the powers in whose name we fight do not look favorably upon the prideful and arrogant. This is a day for battle, not battle. Right you are, Vitotus. Take your Lithuanian forces and draw out the enemy flank. Forward, men! The Lithuanian rabble is attacking! Vitotus retreats to bait the enemy out of lines. Hit them now, Zavisha. Bogorajitsa! Far too long have I rested in the shade. Now is the hour to draw my dread blade. Okay. We're going to help you out as well as we can. Cannons. All right, there you go. Now we actually kind of uh, win the fight instead of losing it. Now that we have actually paid attention to it. Okay, there we are. 
Jsem připraven. Lovím, lovím zvěř. Jsem připraven. Žádáš. Stavím. Zastavím. Ano. Back to collecting resources. Oh, we're losing our units up here. No wounds taunts this one-eyed warrior. I will soon be back. Mark my words. Hope we could use a market real quick. Just a nice spot for our units to group up in. I probably shouldn't have added too many TCs. I can't produce from them. Uh, yeah, I definitely added too many TCs for the start here. But I think we're fine. How you doing over here? You doing okay? okay? You got fish. Oh, I want fish. Market prices are already pretty bad. So to defeat the Teutonic Order or slay three commanders, you have a lot of strength. Lots of armor on these guys. Probably the weakest. We can't, can't do castles. I guess that means we can't do a unique unit. So still... Still not going to see the Hussite wagons. Let's just get up a lumber camp in case we, uh, in case we can get the final wood upgrade. I think we just go Halb and Hand Cannon. What's, what's our tech tree look like? We don't have good cavalry, do we? Uh, no, just cavaliers, and we don't even have the final upgrade, so not going for cavalry. We're going for units. No crop rotation either. Start adding in farms. Houses. Okay, so definitely at the start, maybe put down two TCs, but don't put down five. Ano, <laughs> stavím. <laughs> You can add in five after winning the first fight. And we are already at 71 bills, which is very nice. Yeah, it does look like our resources last longer than normal. Oh, university. Let's make... Still need more bills. I guess we got enough on food now. We can concentrate on the other resources. Or lasting longer is very nice. Hold down there. Nope, we should attack over here. They're trying to take the middle of the siege. I, th I think they're gonna check themselves pretty well though. Okay. We're going to attack a building. Right, we stand on top of the hill and then fire at it. That's better. You don't look like you're that well protected. I think we're just going to go for you. But yes, we can do two man saw. That'll be nice. 
Stavim. I know. What is very cheap? Jada. So we'll just add more mining camps down Stavim. here. I know. Stavim. There. There's slightly more houses. Alright, we're at 101 bills, so we're almost <laughs> at a decent bill number. I think we just gotta send a few guys forward. Start building forward bills. Siege workshops. Okay, and we'll gradually have to be adding in some farms as we go along. I need a couple more bills on wood. These farm animals lasting longer, like with the mines, is quite nice. Oh, we have a pop limit of 150. Can't just add more stuff. Okay, we might have too many bills. Some micro here, got him up on the hill, fired down. Alright, time to delete some pills then. I oh, know, stop, stop making pills. I got the pop limit. Too many pills already. Okay, wait, we need to upgrade to the unique bombard cannon thing. Save the gold for that. Oh, let's do that. More gold for that. Oh, beautiful. That. I could have sworn I had built a university, but I guess I didn't. Yeah. Tell you to attack. Attack an enemy now. No, I can't. Oh well. I'm being attacked. Oh, I cap ram. Oh, hello. I want to see what those guys look like. Diversity. Let's destroy these buildings. Siege engineers. Good. Oh, I lost the tower. That is some tough rams. Up oh, cold over there. Bard cannons. Buy some wood for siege engineers. Or these things. I got an achievement to uh, make ten of them, so let's maybe go for that. Good. I don't need this many on food if we're gonna go heavy bombard cannons. <laughs> there. Front. Let's do some architecture, bombard towers, sure. Oh, this is the. Uh, there he is. Paladins. Okay. Ano. Jadas. Stavim. 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 Stavim.
Do zbraně! Pokazujeme! Žádáš. Čepu dřevo. Ano. Who would you need more on, uh, on wood here? Ano. <laughs> We're gonna be making one of those special bombard cannons. Do zbraně! Rozumím. Ano. Beat it a bit. There. Stop attacking me, please. I'll use more ranges over here. Maybe a couple of barracks for helps too. Oh, we got ten of these things. We got the achievement for making them. Cannons over here in the back. <laughs> Don't attack my own men, ally. I, mean, I like that you're being useful, but please don't attack me. You pull these guys up so they use your protect. Best siege in the middle. Our idols and delete them. All right, now we got a big army. Because I long for 200 population, I move in with my 150. I hope that it will suffice. These things seem quite effective at taking up buildings. What's their attack? 55. They've probably got a bigger bonus against buildings. Okay, you're attacking there. Could you see you attacking with me at this point? <laughs> We're just kind of limited by our population here. What a fight tower. Alright, let's get him. Our enemies are not invincible. Pour forth in numbers and drive into the night. Conscription research, okay. That's what happens when we lack castles. Being attacked. Oh, we are down here. Deal with that, I guess. Bills, honestly, I have enough population. I think we've done enough on this flank. Let's head to the other flank. Just try to come out here to the build the map, do the same thing we did over there. Ano, 
No, uh, allies helping us out. That's good. <laughs> yep, the Teutonic Knights with the cannons. Nice. Get everyone building units for out here. Okay. Uh, let's start. Number camps there. Hopefully our ally will get that cleaned for us. Better men than you have tried to kill me. Get the siege on his ears. Yeah, let's just clear these buildings out as we head forward. Shooting in castles, so we have to be careful to take that out with the cannons. If our hand cannons in front to draw the fire away from the more expensive cannons. Cannons gotta take the siege on as you're out. That's what makes Teutons dangerous, the siege on the That's down. It's the Teuton towers there. Ah. Let's take these buildings out. Oh, yeah, ally. Good job, ally. Can we just get like a big hard cannon shot on him? No. <laughs> okay, one more shot. There, we got him. Oh, okay, I'm injuring myself. There. That. There. There. That tower first, we'll push it through here. Another Teuton castle that will be annoying to take out with cannons. <laughs> this is a good gunpowder battle. Okay, now, same 
thing. Ganon's going for the castle. You guys go for that guy. Burn again. Got him. By the grace of God, we have triumphed on the field of battle today. Go, they mater Polonia! Yay! Our victory was terrible, but great. For decades, Travelers will be stunned by the graveyard left by this clash of arms, the greatest in living memory. With the Teutonic army crushed, we lost no time in pressing our advantage. The castle of Rodzinia quickly fell to our forces, but this triumph came at a tragic cost. My patron, Jan Sokol, who had become almost like a second father to me, perished of poison. A base fate unworthy of such a marvelous leader. A joyous affair it was for the Polish king and his allies, but for us, it was a melancholy end. We now march home to our beloved Bohemia, pockets lined with coin, but hearts bitter with the sorrow of loss. Okay, bit of a fun deathmatch scenario there. We can make gunpowder. Kind of weird without having the full 200 pop, but I guess it works. Sniping the commanders is probably easier than defeating the Teutonic Order. Allies, I guess they were kind of useful there. Maybe we could have fished in that lake. <laughs> near the Lithuanians. But anyway, we'll hop into the third scenario next. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.